Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what we want you to hear. Please remember this man that resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we want you to know. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to today, um, it really feels like there's an overall sense of not being at peace at the moment, and I just seen one, one, one. I'm getting that you may be feeling a lack of joy, okay, or you may just be feeling. It kind of feels like you're not in your own energy. It kind of feels like there's a dullness, okay? Like things seem to be very dull at the moment, okay? And I am getting that there's an overall sense of unhappiness, okay? For some reason, even though you may not, there may not be anything causing this in the 3D, right? then it's just an energy of not really being in your own energy, not really feeling yourself, okay? Now, I do see that whoever I'm speaking to, there's some type of soul tie that you're dealing with, okay? Now, this could be somebody that you've already walked away from, and this also could be somebody that you don't really speak to, but... It really feels like somebody here is kind of tied to you on a soul level. Um, you may actually be experiencing very obsessive thoughts about this person, okay? Or this person's constantly in your energy. You're constantly dreaming about this person. Um, it really feels like you're tied to this person and for some of you you actually may feel like this is a soul connection a divine counterpart okay um and even if that's the case there's still a soul tie here that really seems to be draining you on an energetic level okay even if you do feel a soul connection to this person, um, there's, there's a soul tie here that's been created, right? And it really seems to be depleting you of your energy. Now, for some of you, um, again, this may have started off with somebody that you felt a very strong soul connection to. And again, you may even feel like this person is your divine counterpart or your twin flame, okay? Label it the way that you want to. But if that's the case, I do see that there's this energy of them really taking over your energy. And I just mean 404. Like this person has taken over your energy, right? Whoever I'm speaking to, especially if you are spending a lot of time here thinking about this person, wondering what this person's doing, watching this person on social media, that is you giving your energy up to this person, right? But there's also a soul tie here that is drawing you to this person. For some of you, this may be a soul connection or it may not be. You may have, um, there could have been a soul tie that was created and you may have kind of mistook it for 
a soul connection, okay, or a very divine connection. I just want to make it very clear that soul ties don't always have to be through sexual contact, okay? Soul ties can be created through touch, okay, through items, okay, like gifts that somebody gives you. Um, they also can be created by intention, right? Also, if some people want to create soul ties, okay, because they want you to stay attached to them or they also want to run off your energy, okay? So this also could be an energy vampire. This also could be somebody that's very, like, they purposely may have created a soul tie with you. But I do see that even if there was no sexual contact here, okay, there still seems to be a soul tie in place and again it seems to really be depleting you of your joy of your energy okay you're not feeling yourself i'm just getting this energy of you feeling stuck right Some of you, this person's really taking a lot of your energy and again, they're doing it on purpose. Like this person's running off your energy, right? And I just think 707. If you call your energy back, you're going to notice this person come in and they're going to be very desperate to get back into your energy. Also, I'm getting this energy of you sleeping a lot, okay, spending a lot of time not being able to really do anything, okay, this person seems to be running off your energy here, okay, while you seem to be, for some of you, you could be bed bound, okay, or you could spend a lot of time meditating or sleeping at the moment, right? There seems to be no motivation, no energy, right? Again, and as soon as you reclaim your energy, you call your energy back, you start to feel... A little bit like yourself again you're going to notice this person come in and they're going to try to distract you right this person on an energetic level can feel when you call your energy back they also because when you call your energy back they then start to feel very depleted okay what's happening right now is this person is choosing to run off your energy okay when they run off their own energy they feel unmotivated they feel lazy okay they don't feel like doing much okay the way that you feel at the moment that's how they usually feel so they're choosing to kind of run off your energy i am getting this it feels like you guys are literally fighting here like you guys are fighting over your own energy right like you're trying to run off your energy they're trying to run off your energy but now that you acknowledge the issue, it's going to be much harder for them to be able to run off your energy and steal your energy, okay? For some of you as well, you may actually... When this person comes into contact with you you may actually feel sick okay you may also be experiencing issues with the kidneys okay with the bladder okay because this person they're really affecting your 
sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra at the moment is completely blocked off because this person is kind of tied to you, right? They also seem to be, it's like they're just sucking the life force energy out of you at the moment. And whoever I'm speaking to today, this is something where you were not aware of it, okay? You would have felt the overall energy of feeling lack of joy, feeling like you're not happy no matter what you do, feeling very depleted, feeling like you can't really do anything, okay? For some of you, this may even affect your taste, okay? Your smell, okay? Like, just general things that, for example, while you're eating, okay, it's like you feel like you cannot enjoy your food, right? Like, there's this energy of you not being able to feel joy, right? And you would have been feeling this, you would have been feeling out of your energy, out of your element, right? Now you know what's going on, okay? So there's somebody here that's attached to you. This is somebody that you also would be thinking about a lot. Even if you don't go out of your way to think about this person, this person will pop up in your dreams, okay? They will pop out up in your mind through the day, okay? For some of you, you actually could feel kind of obsessed with this person, like constantly thinking about what they're doing, where they're at, who they're with, okay? Um, while not being able to do anything yourself, right? If that's the case, it's very important for you to, again, now that you've seen this reading, you will acknowledge this is happening, okay? There is um, a need for you to also call your energy back, right? There's a need for you to break the soul tie, right? If you have any items from this person, it's important for you to get rid of them, right? It's important for you not to entertain them. If they try to come back into your energy, do not entertain them. Do not allow them back into your energy, right? Even if you do speak to this person, say that you, they come back into your energy, you're going to notice that you're going to feel completely depleted again, right? This person, they come into your energy. The thing is, right, when you pull your energy back and you take back your energy, this person feels depleted. They feel the way that you've been feeling, okay? So they come back and they want that energy again. It's important to stay away from this person, not entertain this person. Set very strong boundaries with this person, especially if this is somebody that is a part of your family. It doesn't have to be a love interest. For some of you, this is somebody that you did think was a divine counterpart or some type of soul connection, okay? So you may even have a soft spot for this person, but again, this is somebody that's been running off your energy, okay? Literally taking the life force energy out of you and making you feel very depleted. Also, cord cutting meditations are really good for getting rid of soul ties. The thing is, though, after you do the cord cutting meditations, it's very important not to even think about the person right so and you need to get rid of any items they've given you okay also this person they may try to meet up with you they may try to get back into your energy if you see this person don't let them touch you okay do not let them even touch your hand okay nothing right There's something about this person, it's like when they touch you, you may feel physically sick, right? And I just need one, four, four, four. Like you may actually feel sick. There's something about this person's energy. They have a really, wh whoever I'm speaking to today, your energy is beautiful. It's very healing, okay? 
this person though they seem to have a very icky energy to them it's very dark okay it's, it feels like it there's painful endings like painful endings that are like attached to this person they may go through a lot of painful endings or there's just a lot of pain pain and suffering that's kind of attached to this person right so just be careful do not allow this person to touch you you could be dealing with a Pisces you could be dealing with a Taurus you could be dealing with a Leo I do not know what's going on with this person but it really feels like they're not at peace okay they could be going through some type of karma for some of them they kind of go around betraying people hurting people okay or they've betrayed somebody it's like they've hurt the wrong person here and now they have a lot of darkness attached to this person for some of you this person actually could be dealing with a curse but for some of you it's like a generational thing right like their bloodline could be cursed or something okay or anybody that comes into communication with this person or it just feels like there's something to do with their family like their family seems to be going through some type of like generational curse okay so again when people come into communication with this person they may experience bad luck okay but this person even if they don't mean to be like this it they come with a very dark energy with this it's like an energy of very bad luck around them and everybody that's kind of in their family and attaches themselves to this person right so just keep that in mind as well right especially if you're labeling this person as like a divine counterpart a twin flame or something just keep in mind that this person i mean there's a lot of suffering and pain that is attached to this person okay so again you don't really want to attach yourself to this person because it's like you're then attaching to their karma okay it's something to do with their family right so whoever I'm speaking to it's very important that you stop entertaining this person okay even if you feel a soul connection okay that's fine even if you feel a soul connection that's fine but this soul tired that is draining you really needs to go you really need to break it you really need to stop entertaining even the thought of this person at the moment and really start putting yourself as the priority here because the thing is whoever i'm speaking to you've been prioritizing this other person for a long time thinking about this other person okay for some of you some of you you accidentally put them on the pedestal by believing that they're a divine counterpart but the thing is this person is stealing your energy they're taking off you they're leaving you depleted okay there's also a lot of bad luck that's attached to this person okay so it is important for you to stop entertaining this soul tie okay for some of you you really need to break it um again you could do a cord cutting meditation but it is very important to actually stop focusing on this person thinking about this person if this person comes up in your thoughts you know just say the focus is on me the focus is on me okay call your energy back right um but now that you're aware you're going to realize what's going on when it's happening and you will be able to call your energy back and just being aware um basically clears most of this soul tie out anyway but you really do need to stop entertaining the thought of them okay that's all i have for you if it resonated let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video